G'day guys, right here, your coffee coach. I'm here with Leon again from La Pavone. Great to see you again, mate. See you. We were here last year showcasing the range of machines from La Pavone, the reinvention, the reintroduction into the marketplace, the specialty coffee. They've been around since 1905, I think. So it's not a new company, but they just were taken over by Smeg and we were very excited to see what this new brand could bring to an old company that's well established. You've done a lot in this last 10 months and it's amazing and I'm excited to see what's happening. Yeah. Got a whole new range of machines that are upgraded and take us through them. Tell us what's yeah. been happening in the world. Oh, yeah, you know what, the, uh, the last 12 months since we met, um, a lot of things have changed. You know, we've been listening to our customers. We've been uh, watching all the reviews online, especially of the video that we did together and some of the feedback. And we've been trying to address that in the factory level of making sure that, you know, some of the little things that people were picking up on, it was like, okay, Focus on your quality, focus on, I suppose, the consistency of the product. But now that you've got the backing of a bigger company like Smeg, reinvest in R&D, in engineering, in quality control. And I think that that's what we focused on in the last 12 months. And this is kind of proof in the pudding of what we've done. So really today, we've got a brand new home range launching at the beginning of next year. And we thought, why not show it at MICE? Show what we've done, show where our investment's gone. Um, and as you can see on our beautiful wall here, we've got the new Cellini Mini. It's a brand new platform within our semi-professional domestic range. Really, we know people are looking for that compact footprint, something that doesn't take up a lot of bench space because, you know, kitchens are getting smaller um, and, you know, times are tough out there. So trying to get to, you know, sharper price points and making sure people can get cafe quality coffee at home. And I think this is kind of where we start. So we start now with the Cellini Mini with a single boiler. You've got the standard E61 group bed for that consistent extraction of coffee. You also have uh, your double insulated steam wand here, so that it's, it's cool to touch, it's easy to use. Uh, you've got your tap control for your on and off of your steam, but we're focused on things like stability. So the machine doesn't slide on the bench anymore. You know, we've, we've changed the shape of the foot. We've put rubber O-rings on the bottom to stop that movement. New drip trays with professional um, grids, so they're easy to clean, easy to maintain. Uh, magnetic tray so easy to come off as you can see there and straight back on like that so that's really our new entry point um, we're looking at launching this at sub two thousand dollars so that it is really achievable to get that coffee in yeah. that cafe quality at home um, obviously we move up from there into our single boiler heat exchanger systems so here we have um, obviously as you've seen now we have black and polished stainless steel there's a color trend that's been coming, kind of emerging and a lot of you have to invest extra to go and get the color that you want. So we thought, why not offer it at the point of sale? Why not give people the warranty and the peace of mind that it's done at the factory? So for us, this model here, the whole Cellini range will be available in both colors. Um, so the Cellini Classic, we've made some changes. We used to have a plastic cup rail. You know, people said that looks cheap, it looks dodgy. So we've gone out, put the steel rails back on, it, whether it's the Mini, whether it's the Classic, and then in a moment, we'll have a look at the Evolucione as well. But here is basically one of the most robust, you know, benchtop coffee machines. You're looking sub $3,000 for this particular product here um, in both colors. So really, this is suitable for your everyday home cafe user. Um, somebody who's going to do back-to-back -back shots. Here you've got your pressure gauge on the E61. So when you're dialing in the machine, you can actually see the bars of pressure that are coming through the group instead of just watching that bore. Um, so here you, you, you've got your E61 again, um, you've got your double spout, it does come with a single as well, so you come with two water filters on the Classic, um, so it gives you that, you know, freedom of choice. If you want to do two cups at the same time or pull a single cup, you can do that. So we move up from here, straight into our Evoluzione, which is just on the bench behind you, and as you can see, it looks nothing like the other machines that we've just gone through. You know, everyone is looking for that customization, making that machine their own. And what we learned was that not everybody wants to play with taps on the coffee machine. A lot of people want to play with toggles now. So that simple on off action, you know, not playing around with taps. They can slip when you've got wet hands, you know, it's easy to fumble. Um, so here, what we've done is we've partnered with Posado here locally in Australia and Andrea and the team have really come up with a great set of accessories for us. Things that we can put in a package and sell in the store. So whether you go to a specialist or a mass retailer, these are things that you'll have options to make the machine your own. Um, and as you can see, this one here is the Rigger Timber. Um, these are some of the most sustainable timbers that you can get in Australia here. Um, so we've made sure with Andrea and the team that we really got the best quality products to put on there. 
Customization traditionally, you know, you have to pay someone else to do that. What we're trying to do is create a home kit that people can put on themselves, that they can feel like they're part of that upgrade to their quality product. And this model here today, you only see in the polished steel, but it will come in the matte black as well. And you will have a choice of different timbers. So today you have the Riga and the Raya. Um, really, one is a polished with a bit of black. So these are a brand new hybrid water filter. As you can see here, this particular one has the double spout. But if you flip it over, you can see that that base there is actually removable. So you can actually screw in and out. And if we pop this one down, I can show you really simply that, you know, most people have to go out and spend extra money on a naked water filter. Well, this one does everything. You know, you can have the two in one. You don't have to go looking for that other porta filter when you want to play around on the weekend. It's all in the one piece. So, you know, it's easy to put this in your cutlery drawer and put it back on. And then you've really got peace of mind that you're going to get exactly what you're looking for. So that's kind of the entry point um, in our semi-professional range. So the Cellini range is kind of our single boiler heat exchanger systems. We move up from the Cellinis. What price point do we say this one is at? And then like the kit extra... Yeah, so this particular model here, um, you're looking at around three and a half, yep. okay? And the kit, we're looking at around four to $500 at the moment. We're just finalizing pricing because with these kits, we're also considering the idea of having, a, you know, a matching tamp. So everybody really is looking for that full customization across all their accessories. You know, we also have WDT tools um, with the same finish. Yep. So you can really expand that look throughout your kitchen and consistently. Yep. So I think, you know, today, most people might get a fancy tamp they might get, you know, a WDT or a different distributor um, and it's a one-off. Why not interconnect the look of all of those accessories together? So really for us, you know, within the one brand, we're trying to make sure that you can be who you want to be with your coffee machine. And um, I think that's the most important thing is that you have a real connection with your coffee. It's personal. You want your guests at home to feel like that you're really creating something for them. And when they see the personal touches, they say, oh, how do I get that at home? I want something like that. It's really inspirational. Um, and I think it's, it's a beautiful thing to have. You know, we have dressed it up with some funky glasses. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen these before. These are a brand new release. So they are a brand partner of ours. Um, so these are made by Nuckman. Nuckman is part of the Riedel Spiegelau group. Yeah. Um, these are crystal espresso specific glasses. Um, so it's just something that I thought we'd bring to the show. Um, we're good friends with them. And essentially, these are designed to take the bitterness out of coffee. Yeah, something you've probably never heard of or never seen before. It's all about the shape and the material. So the way the coffee pours in, it has a curved base on the inside. So it softens the breaking of the, of the coffee bead. And what it does, it just keeps that crema nice and consistent. And so when you drink it, the shape of the glass actually tilts outwards. Okay, I'm a purist. I, I, I personally believe that your traditional espresso cups in either porcelain or china really retain more heat have a better you know feel on the mouth but when i tried these i was actually blown away by the way the coffee came through and i was like hang on how did it do that i don't quite understand so we thought we'd bring him here and you know make coffee for people with them and let's see if they can taste the difference so we we're happy to make shots in both types of cups so people to compare and i thought it's not for me to sell but i love it i think it's a great novelty and uh, it's a great accessory to showcase at a place like this. So yeah, that's our Cellini offering. And um, yeah, we have two models above this before we show you one of the secrets of the, of the, of the, the show. So today, the Botticelli is our step up. So the Botticelli is really our dual boiler with dual PID. Uh, this one here um, is plumbable, so it has a rotary pump. The Cellini's in the entry point, so the Cellini Mini and Classic both have vibrating pumps. The Cellini Evoluzione has the rotary pump, so it can be plumbed. So really, um, if you want to plumb it and you want to have your inline filters, that's possible. But I think the dual boiler is really where you get the benefit out of having the rotary pump and the plumbing option. So we do have nice large 2.9 litre tanks. However, when you're in an office scenario or you have a high volume of use at home and you work from home a lot, you may want to look at plumbing it. It's much more set and forget. You don't have to worry. Um, but so here is that option. So you've got your hot steam taps, you've got your um, steam wand, both double insulated, so they're very cool to touch. Um, and we've decided to integrate the PODs to try and keep that sleek look across the Botticelli range. One thing you'll really notice with these particular ones, if we may get you to have a close up, is the original Botticelli had a very guru look about it. Okay, it was a very wide diamond look. We've gone and changed the design of the Botticelli and we've kept the diamonds 
indent to the side. So it's a more sleeker look. It doesn't take up additional bench space. So we go from here to the, from the Botticelli dual boiler to the Botticelli specialty. And the specialty is kind of, I suppose, where we're at today, where you've got the toggles, you've got the custom kit upgrades. Um, this particular unit also has a pressure profile. So on the top, obviously we can control the pull and we can change our pre-infusion if we wish to go down this pathway, depending on the type of coffee you're trying to extract. So you might want to play around with different roasts. You might want to play around with different bar pressures coming through that coffee to get different flavors and aromas coming out. And I think that this particular machine allows you to be a bit more creative with your coffee. And for me, you know, if I was to pick a new machine for home today, you'd be this. Um, for me, I don't need to plummet. I don't, I'm not making a hundred coffees at home. Um, but you know, a three liter tank is sensational. Yeah. And really to me, moving from taps to toggles, um, it's just p easy, you know? I switch it on, I switch it off. Happy days. So yeah, so that's our Botticelli. And as you can see, what we were just talking about, there's the shaper on the sides and the back. Um, we brought that diamond to life. And so the price points for those? Yeah, so the Botticelli started around forty two ninety, yeah. And we're talking going up to forty seven ninety, dollars uh, circa 5K. And then obviously you've got the option here with your specialty to have the Posado upgrade kits in any color that you choose. So yeah, th that is our domestic range. And what we'll do is we'll grab one of these crystal cups for you. You can see those toggles are super easy to use. They're not spitting water out everywhere. Um, you can hear the machine refilling the boiler now. And get that cup nice and hot. And then it's simply E61, pull that lever up and uh, what's that pre-infusion? You can see it slowly pre-infuses and then we'll get the full whack of the pressure coming through. Sitting at eight bars, eight to nine bars there. It's a nice little shot. I suppose it depends how long you'd like to see that. It's pretty good. I hope this uh, tickles your taste. I'm sure it will. Here we go. Give it a bit of a stern. I'm very excited to try it out of this crystal. Like, even the whole, the feel of it is so lovely. Like, the design and the feel. I think and, the um, idea of the design was to put air between your finger and the crystal. Right. To remove the heat from your hand. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's one of the hardest parts is when you have a hot glass holding onto it while you're drinking. Well, that is super balanced. That is lovely. There's um, yeah, very no bitterness in that one in any way. That I mean, it might not have. It might not have been. Yeah, I might not have been. I, been I should have tested it with the other ceramic cups, but yeah. that is still just lovely. Super sweet, heavy body, lots of chocolates. That's jump. Mm. Smash that one. That is good. It gives my tick of approval for that one. Well, there you have it. That's what we're talking about. Smeg have taken over La Pavoni and not just embraced the brand, but really invested in the brand. So we're not looking at a homogenized brand now, like other brands might machines. We're looking at two separate brands. And I hear there's a rumor that maybe there might be some crossover back from the technology from La Pavoni back into some Smeg, maybe in the future, something like yeah, that. You, you may see some uh, La Pavoni inspiration within some of the Smeg range moving forward. That's very That's exciting. Something we might be able to talk about further in the new year. I'm excited to hear. So thanks very much for talking with us, Leon. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I'm Ride, your coffee coach. And as always, enjoy your brew.